Hey guys, welcome back. So in this one, we're gonna go ahead and see how to refresh a token. Like you saw, whenever we, we log in a user, we give them two tokens, the access and the refresh. Now, the access, we've already seen how it can be used. We can use it to access protected endpoints like this slash me. Since the access token grants access to resources on our server, we always want to make it short-lived. Say so that in any case that someone gets access to it, they still wouldn't use it to access resources on our server for a long time. So just something to mention here, you see how we have all these configurations here. Now the one we set was only the secret key, but if you wanted to set uh, anything else, like any other any other config to the, to the module, be sure to check one of these. So for example, you can see access tokens by default will, will take 15 minutes to expire, but we could change that if we wanted to. And the recommendation is to always make it as less than this as possible. And then you can see that the refresh tokens can be like 30. So we can always use this to refresh the refresh token, to refresh the access tokens. So to now create an endpoint to refresh the access tokens, I'm gonna go to our code. So over here, we will have another endpoint. It's gonna be slash auth, slash auth, then dot. We can have a dot, a post. So I'm gonna have a post here. Now here, we wanna go to when a user goes to slash token, slash refresh. So let's create a function to handle that. So refresh token, user token. One thing here, we want the user to only access this endpoint by giving us a refresh token. Now for us to enforce that what they give us here is a refresh token, we are also going to use at JWT required, this decorator here on this very view. But the difference here is here, we are gonna, we are gonna expect them to give us a refresh. We are, going to ex we are going to expect them to give us a refresh token. So we're going to pass refresh equals true. So to handle this, what we want is to first get who the user is. So we can do identity. Then when we do get, get JWT identity, it should give us the user ID. So now we can create a new access token. So we can just say access token. Should we create access token? And uh, in this case, we pass the identity, which should be our identity. And uh, now that we have a new access token, then we can return to the user. We can just say return to Sonify. Then let's have the access token for the user. Then it's gonna be the new one that we just generated for them. And I will send back a 200, so HTTP, 200, okay. If we come back to our postman. So if we do a post, remember we need to send the refresh token. So you can see that it goes ahead to validate that we are not sending it. So in uh, in auth, we can choose, we want to use bearer token. And uh, we can if we try to use this, notice that it fails, this one is expired. So we need to be using a refresh token that is valid. So I'm gonna log in here, and that's gonna give us a new refresh token. And now we can use this under this endpoint. We can go ahead and use that. And now when we click send, you can see we get a new access token. And this new access token is associated with the very same user who logged in here. So that is how we refresh the tokens. So if you wanted to use a different method for this, it's just up to you. You can just do a get, it doesn't really matter since we are not even posting anything. So that's how we refresh the user's token. So I'm gonna be pausing the video here. If it helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. In the next video, we are going to start working with the bookmarks, creating bookmarks and retrieving bookmarks and all that fun stuff.